Artificial intelligence is making its way into the classroom, but its capabilities are raising questions on whether it's helping students cheat or helping them learn. Yeah, no, Fox 23 investigation. Fox 23 Scott Martin talked with public school teachers, higher education instructors, and technology leaders to find out what they're doing to stay ahead of the ever changing tech world. Artificial intelligence, also known as AI, is gaining attraction worldwide. It's a hot topic on social media and even trending in the classroom. ChatGPT is one of the more popular products of AI. It's a language tool that can generate human-like responses, no matter what you ask. Students here at Booker T. Washington are seen comparing writing samples, one that used the artificial intelligence. Which one was written by a student? Which one was written by ChatGPT? I'm gonna give you one minute. And then we'll talk about it. Emily Harris is the academic content manager for social studies at TPS. She says ChatGPT is technology that can help students understand hard vocabulary. It also helps students in AP social studies classes in particular grapple with text complexity. So oftentimes students in AP classes are going to be reading documents, primary source documents that are well above their reading level for either 9th through 12th grade. When prompted, ChatGPT can can write papers on any topic. It can write it intellectually or on a certain grade level if you ask it to. It's like having a type of personal tutor. Students can communicate with the AI to break down something to a way they can understand. They're still able to interact with the text that's very complex, but they also have a tool to help them better understand it. But what exactly is ChatGPT? To find out, I sat down with Dr. Shandip Sen, a professor of computer science at TU. He says artificial intelligence Intelligence like ChatGPT is designed to think and write better than we do. In layman's terms, what is this? So very simply, if you have seen uh, when you type your email, uh, it completes your sentence. So ChatGPT is a much more powerful version of that that has learned how people write by looking at all the data that's available on the internet. And hence, it knows kind of patterns of completion of things. Chat GPT is new and smarter and faster than any human, a combination that does bring up concerns. To say that it doesn't have negatives, it doesn't have pitfalls, would also be naive. Of course, the more potent, the more powerful a technology, the more vigilant we should be. The information that ChatGPT spits out is what it's been trained on from the internet. Professor Sen says the information the bot gives you is not always 100% accurate. It can make errors because it is looking for natural completions, you know, and it can make very simple factual mistakes. I think those things will soon correct itself. Like if you think about Wikipedia, when it initially came, People say you cannot use it as a reliable source. But nowadays we find, you know, increasingly it's, you know, quite reliable. If not 100%, it's quite reliable. Back at Booker T. Washington, where students studied two writing pieces, it's based on a real AP exam. What students learned is the chat GPT version goes into less detail when asked to write a response. The perfect score student version was not as concise. So one of the things that we typically do whenever we're writing an essay is that we tend to um, repeat ourselves often and we tend to add in extra words that might not be necessary um, and then the chat GPT response although it still scored a perfect six out of six on the rubric uh, it was more concise to the point it clearly stated the evidence TPS isn't the only district utilizing chat GPT Broken Arrow Public Schools are also on board with the new tech aiming to use it to enhance student learning to adopt it as educators is very important Important because it's what our students are going to be experiencing throughout their lives. Educators at Broken Arrow are encouraged to use ChatGPT. Brandon Chitty is the district's director of instructional technology and virtual programming. He calls ChatGPT a super power tool for teachers. Really when it talks about like individual plans for learning, teachers can do this at warp speed now compared to what they were doing before. So for a teacher, that is hugely impactful. I asked both districts about their fears of students trying to use AI as a way to get ahead. TPS social studies teacher Scott
Scott Childer says AI is so new that everyone is having to learn as they go. This is a fluid thing, so we're figuring it out as we go. So, so we're working on it, and we're working on it with them. At this point, TPS and Broken Arrow don't have any policies on AI usage. At Broken Arrow, if a student is suspected of cheating, teachers are encouraged to use it as a teaching moment. We do have tools to where teachers can run the assignments through and, and check for that, and then the conversation becomes, hey, why did you use this tool? How can I help you to write this so that you can do it in a creative way that is your own? And so that's just the narrative we kind of use. But at this point, we haven't had, that I know of, a student that have really used the tool to, to do really negative, you know, uh, things that could impact our district. I reached out to other school districts across Green Country. Jenks and Sepulpa both told me students can't access ChatGPT on their district-issued devices. Professor Sen at TU compared this technology advancement to the invention of the calculator. He says that tool was developed to do math equations. ChatGPT is a tool to help enhance writing. Anything that allows me to better communicate my thoughts, what I want to communicate, uh, my arguments, I think at the end of the day, that can be leveraged for various useful and socially even beneficial outcomes. Broken Arrow Public Schools made the same comparison and said AI will improve students' mindset. This AI is not going to end English. It's just we're going to change the way we're doing things, and that's what our environment's like, and we have to be ready for that change. Because this is so new, the educators we talk to say conversations are just beginning. It's technology they've barely scratched the surface on. At this point, the districts we talk to have yet to develop any district-wide policies on AI. We have to look forward and look at how we're educating our kids and to us, we see this as a catalyst to make and reach a goal that we've had for a long time. Covering news that matters, Scott Martin, Fox 23 News. Wow. Uh, everybody we talked with says the scary part is no one knows yet what types of languages AIs are capable of. So chat GPT is just one example of artificial intelligence. and. There are already hundreds of other examples involved in our daily interaction with technology. It is just so mind blowing. Now, Scott is working on a second part to this story. Well, he will be looking into the technical side of AI for next week. We will bring that story to you here on Fox 23 News at 9 and on the Fox 23 News app.